Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem on your VMware workstation where you are trying to start a virtual machine and it says virtualized Intel VT hyphen X EPT is not supported on this platform. So I see this uh, error window and my virtual machine is not starting. And when I click yes, uh, it does nothing, right? So let's see how we can solve this problem. So there are a few different ways in which you can solve this problem. The main cause of this problem is that your Hyper-V is uh, enabled and you need to disable that. So to disable your Hyper-V, you just need to search for uh, turn Windows feature on and off in your search bar and choose this option which says turn Windows feature on or off which is going to open this kind of option. And here, so you can see in my case, the Hyper-V is already disabled. If you see uh, this checkbox here, then you just need to uncheck this checkbox, which is going to disable the Hyper-V. And then once you disable the Hyper-V, you might need to restart your uh, Windows 11 operating system and then check if uh, this virtual machine starts or not. And because in my case, uh, Hyper-V is already disabled, even then also the virtual machine is showing the same error. Let's start few other options. So for the other options, what you can do here is you can open your command prompt. So just write CMD and open the command prompt. So I'm going to write this command, which is called system info, which is going to load all the system information. And you can see it says Hyper-V has been detected. Features required for Hyper-V will not be displayed. In addition to the system info command, you can also run uh, this MS info 32 command and then open system information. And when you will scroll down, you will be able to see Hypervisor has been detected here, right at the end. So same message you will see uh, using the MS uh, info 32 command. Now, in the next step, what you can do is you can just uh, open your command prompt. So just search for CMD and then right click and then run your command prompt as an administrator and click on yes here. And here run this command, which is BCD edit forward slash set hypervisor launch type off. And you can see it says the operation completed successfully. So make sure you run this command prompt as an administrator. I'm going to put all these commands in the description of this video also. So you can directly go to the description of this video and copy all these commands, right? So it's going to show uh, the operation has been co completed successfully. If you don't run command prompt uh, as an administrator, this command might fail. So remember to run the command prompt as an administrator. Okay, so once you are done with this command, you can try to launch your virtual machine once again. So again, it shows the same error, right? So I'm going to show you the last command which requires the PowerShell. Okay, so you just need to open the PowerShell, just search for PowerShell here and then run the PowerShell as an administrator. So right click and run as administrator. And once you opened the PowerShell as an administrator, you just need to run this command, which is disable hyphen windows optional feature online hyphen a feature name Microsoft hyper V all right. And then press enter, which is going to start this process. And it says, do you want to restart the computer to complete the operation? So it requires the restarting of your windows 11 operating system. So you can say why, to restart your Windows operating system or you can just uh, press N to uh, manually restart your computer later, right? So at this point you can press Y but I'm going to press N because I will restart my computer manually, right? So I'm going to press N and then you can see we are exited from this command. And now at this point I'm going to manually restart my Windows operating system. So let me restart my Windows operating system. So now let's try to restart uh, our virtual machine. So I was trying to start the Windows 11 virtual machine here. So I'm going to click on play virtual machine here. 
and now I can see that my virtual machine is starting, right? So this is how you can solve that problem on your VMware workstation. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.